Another thing they teach us at the Olympic Training Center is, is the importance of what you say to yourself. What you say to yourself, what you say to yourself with passion determines what you focus on. What you focus on determines what, what, what actions you'll take. And, and the actions you take over and over and over again will determine your, 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 uh, your habits. And your habits determine your results. Most people, when they're not getting the, the results they want, they try to do something different, but invariably they go back to the old habit and, and, and they, they're just stuck in a rut. Rather, you, whenever you're not getting the, the results you like, go back to your self-talk, to what you say to yourself. That way you reprogram your subconscious mind to turn you into the, the person that can hit those, those marks. So it goes all back to the reprogramming. So what you say to yourself is, is very important. And so a few years ago, gosh, many years ago, I, uh, I made a list of, uh, of some affirmations and I, would, and I would read them to me, to myself before every race, actually before every practice. And I started getting better results. And so it worked for me, so I tried it before the races. And, and I got better results at the races. So finally I put them on a card and I read this to, to myself every day. I, I have it taped to the mirror where I brush my teeth. And affirmations, it's called a champion's creed. And affirmations, they only work if you read them with passion. And passion sounds like you're mad. If you sound like you're mad, then that's passion, right? If you read them with no passion, they don't work. So this is the champion's creed. I am a champion. I believe in myself. I have the will to win. I surround myself with winners. I'm cool, positive, confident. I love the struggle and the competition. I focus all my energy on the job at hand. I am a champion and I will win. You read, your, you read that every day before you start making your calls, and when somebody says no, it bounces off of you. It doesn't even hurt. 